what's going on? This is Joe's McFly hitting you up with another reaction video. Uh, my bad, I wasn't able to upload yesterday, but the fact of the matter is, I got two kids at home. They wasn't trying to go to sleep, and there was a lot of noise going on, so nobody would have been able to hear anything. So I'm on here on my way to work. Yesterday, of course, it was a great win. You know, just a great all around win. And you know what? I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of those this year. I don't think we're going to, uh, we're going to like shatter records or anything like that. But I just think that it's just a lot of efforts. You know what I mean? Great efforts. Like, of course, you look at CC's line, five innings, you know, you, of course, you want at least six, six plus. But you know what? If you're getting that from that guy, and of course, we all know CC's not the guy who he used to be. But if you're getting that from that guy in five innings and no runs and things like that, and you know what? That's a great start, especially after a loss and people overreacting. And I'm seeing people on Twitter and on radio shows talking about, oh, man, we should have never traded Brian McCann. And we should have, you know, this kid, I don't know, Gary Sanchez, Shaw for Jinx. Calm down. Slow your roll. Like, what? <laughs> people are so weird. Like, why are you overreacting like with Gary Sanchez? I'll get to Gary Sanchez in a bit. The People love to overreact. It was one damn game and people are going crazy already. It's like, and I understand people are just very passionate um, with, you know, with the Yankees and everything like that. But I mean, at some, some point in time, you got to be a little bit more realistic and patient like jesus christ anyway so yankees won um uh versus the rays yesterday uh cc was great uh for what he did definitely the opposite effort of whatever the hell tanaka did the, the time before whatever mulligan um but you know that was great chase headley man i mean i gotta i gotta like seriously Chase Headley, last year, he lasted until May without an extra base hit, until May without his first home run, and this, you know, he hit a bomb straight set, I'm talking about a bomb, like, Kiermaier gave it, you know, his nice courtesy jump over the fence, but, I mean, that was a bomb, and he hit a straight center, so, uh, that was a pretty good, and then he's going, you know, I, and I, I love that he's doing this because there's been a lot of hitters that are that they're just defiant on the shift, and then they'll see the shift, and then they'll say, "No, you know what? I'll just hit over the shift." But you know what, Chase Headley, I'm glad that you realize, and hats off to you, you are not that kind of hitter, you know. So fine, adjust, and that's what they that that's what all hitters are supposed to do, adjust. And he adjusts. Now he's going the other way. If you look at his hits. All of his hits have been opposite field. He hasn't pulled the ball one time. We're talking about from the left side, but they've been they've been giving him that. And you got a man on third, and you got a huge hole because the, the shortstop is playing on the second base side of second base. Uh, hello, why don't you hit the ball over there? And he did. And you know what? He got an RBI single right off of that. And yesterday another two hit night and it, it was it was a good job you know that was a good job um but i mean the game ball game ball definitely has to go to uh ronald torres i mean see I, I really like that kid and i like that kid because he's gritty bro like he is and i feel like you always need players like that on your team like people that are willing to do whatever it is and you know they're probably the most unlikely kind of person but he's the smallest person on this team and he's out there his he's fielding his ass off he's you know always putting the bat on the ball the guy hit a bomb yesterday off of Odorizzi I'm talking about a bomb it wasn't a wall scraper it was a bomb and you know I thought it was funny and um I guess uh <laughs> aesthetically uh fun to see uh, that the person that did greet him at home because he brought him in was 
the guy with all the power in the world, Aaron Judge, and you can just see them, you know, side by side. It's like the biggest contrast contrast in the world where you have the smallest guy and then you have the biggest guy and they're basically high-fiving because the smaller guy actually brought him in. So uh, that's baseball. So, um, you know, I, I love that. So, um I mean that that was that that was awesome. The game ball definitely goes to him. He had a play uh, where the ball went right over CC's glove, but basically tipped his glove, and he came in charging. And he basically made a phenomenal play. They had a great play yesterday. Um, they had great plays yesterday on defense. It was great. I thought uh, Starlin Castro even on the first play of the game was great. Um, I mean defensively, and you know what, Bird. And maybe he's not Mark Teixeira, but Bird, yo, that guy has some flexibility at first base, man. That guy be stre he stretches, man. He, he. I hope he doesn't pull a hammy or anything like that. But you know, uh, God forbid, of course. But I mean, the guy looks really, uh, really good around the bag. You know, um, Tropicana Field, man. If there's something I gotta say, bro, it's like. That is not what baseball opening week, opening day baseball is supposed to look like. You look, you you open up the season in a place like that. It's beautiful outside. You know, people want to see the sky. People want to see the fresh cut grass. People want to see all of those things. And you are inside of a dome that's like, it's weird too because even yesterday, right? And of course... I'm happy because I'm happy because of um, you know it went our way, but Holiday hits a ball a mile high. The ball hits the freaking ceiling. Like where do you see that? Where where did do that at? And the ball hits the damn ceiling, and the left fielder's like, where the hell you know where the hell's the ball? And the ball's like like 20 feet behind them. It's like it's ridiculous. And that was a double. Of course, RBI double. Imagine a call like that, and then they have rules in there, weird rules, where it hits a freaking catwalk, and it's really a home run, and if it hits another catwalk, it's a double, and if it hits this catwalk, it's a foul ball. Bro, that's not a baseball stadium. Like, seriously. Like, that is not... They need a new field, bro. Like, they, And then they wonder why people don't go to that damn stadium. Like, that doesn't look like a baseball park. That looks like some... Frugazy, I, I don't, I can't even quantify that. It feels, it's weird. I don't think people should be playing baseball in that, but whatever. Um, I guess that's what Tampa Bay is willing to offer, but they definitely need a new stadium down there. I mean, but um, I mean, my last thing that I really want to talk about is the Gary Gary Sanchez and the overreaction and people going crazy like even today i'm here you know i i've even heard people say oh you know as i said before oh you know we should have never got rid of mccann uh you know what maybe we anointed the kid too much and you know what the, there is a sophomore it's been what like 10 at bats give me a break and it hasn't been like 10 at bats where he looks feeble yeah there has been you know he, he had a, a strikeout he had some bias strikeouts or whatever it is and he had a, a pop-up and things like that but bro he's hit the ball hard you know the other night with that ball up the middle against um against archer that ball was scorched bro he hit that ball the hardest out of any ball in his major league baseball career According to StatCast, that was his hardest hit ball. His hardest hit ball. And you know what? It was an out. So, whatever. I mean, that's baseball. And you know what? People need to understand that. That's just baseball. He could have easily been. Like, he's had at least legit three hard hit balls. There was a ball yesterday that Longoria made a play on. That would have been a double. And he could have easily been three for ten now and batting like about 300 or not about but batting 300 so can we stop and pump the brakes on overreaction like if people if even 
Don Mattingly was saying, you know, are you going to judge me only on 100 at-bats? That's 100 at-bats! And he's saying, don't judge me on 100 at-bats. Then don't judge Sanchez on 10. Give me a break. Calm down. I mean, seriously. I, th I don't have any problem with Sanchez. I have my friends that are, of course, Yankee haters, you know, um, a Red Sox fan, Yankee hater, whatever it is, talking about, like, oh, it's a boss, he's a boss, and, you know, blah, 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 he's gonna be a bomb, blah, 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 the league caught up to him. Relax, bro, relax. Trust me, Sanchez is the least of my worries. Number one thing I'm worried about is the pitching staff. Pineda's going today. Okay, guys, all right, so Pineda is going today. I am more worried about Pineda because I don't know what I'm going to get from him than what I am with Sanchez. Pineda is, you know, and I, I wish nothing but the best for him. One, because he's a Yankee. And two, because he's Dominican. So I'm always going to root for Dominican players, of course, because that's just where my family's from. That's that's just what it is. But um, he, you, you got to, you got to, I hope he really does make the adjustment this year. I hope Pineda really does take that next step. It's a contract year, so you know how people are in contract year. Miraculously, they become Cy Young. But I really do hope that for him because it's like he has, I'm talking about phenomenal stuff. I've never seen somebody that can get, what, 15 strikeouts in a game and also give up seven runs. Like, Yo, bro, even Joe Girardi's, like, taking off his hat, like, scratching his head. Like, he doesn't understand what's going on. So, it's like, and I think that sometimes a lot of the things have to do with probably concentration. But I do support you, Pineda. I do. I believe in you. And I really do hope that you come through this year. And, yeah. Que lo que, con que lo que. Oíste. So, yeah. So, um, I mean, tonight we can go for the, the series win right now. I'm um, taking two out of three to start the season. I think individual games, you know, of course they matter, but really they, they, you got to win series, man. You got to win series. If you really want to win, you got to win series. And this is a game, Pineda on the mound, um, you got to win this game. You got to win this game. You do. And, you know, oh, I forgot to mention about yesterday's game, the bullpen. Hats off, bro. Good job. I mean, a little, of course, Holder gave up those the, those two base runners that that had um, Batanzas had to come in the game. But, you know, overall, just great job. Just a bunch of strikeouts from Clipper, Batanzas, and um, Chapman. So, that was great. But, I mean, moving on to today, you just got to move on to the next day. And I even seen the tweet by Didi, and I'm glad I seen this, that even though he's hurt, man, I... I really do like his attitude, how he's just very positive. And he's just saying, you know, uh, let's go Yankees, start spreading the news. And I'm glad he's keeping on with those tweets. And I even seen today that he's actually reporting, um, you know, with the glove. They said that they had him going in there that he said it's about that time, which means that he's probably going to start getting into baseball activities. And I'm excited for D.D. Gregorius because I think – that a lot of people like to, you know, of course it's Gleyber Torres, but a lot of people forgetting about him, and he he's great, bro. As a shortstop, he's been great. So, all I'm saying is let's go Yankees, and I really do hope we get with this series win, and I'm going to hit you guys up a, a, a little bit later, and um, anything else, just feel free to either hit me up on um, on Twitter, or Joe's McFly, or hit me up on Instagram, or uh, or anything like that. Same thing, same tag, Joe's McFly. Uh, or just leave a comment and make sure you leave a like, man. Because the more likes and the more comments, subscribe also. Uh, I could be able to make some more of these videos. And, you know, maybe we'll get some, some better equipment and some better things going on. And um, I'm going to be recording some games this year. Like, uh, at the actual game. Because I got season tickets. So... I'm going to be recording at um, uh, 
um, at Yankee Stadium a couple of games. So it's going to be pretty fun this year, man. I really do hope you guys follow along and just make sure you guys subscribe again to, if you really want to get your Yankee reaction, Yankee news, anything like that. I'll make sure that I put that on there and put that up. But um, I know this is running a bit long, but, you know, uh, thank you so much for your support. Shout out to Bronx Pinstripes and all of my people back in the Bronx and everybody supporting the Yankees, man. And peace.